Rock show, rock show, rock show. Rock show, rock show, rock show. Rock show! Hello fellow Hearts of the Blue and welcome to my channel and also welcome to another basing tutorial and in this tutorial I'm going to address something that has been asked a lot of times and I didn't really want to make a video about it for two reasons. One is this is not my recipe. This was developed by Ben Grace. You can follow his Instagram. He's an amazing painter and I saw these bases done for his elder and I just asked him and he was gracious enough to tell me how he did it. And the other reason is this tutorial uses quite exotic paints uh, including enamels and one paint from the Panzer Aces by Echo Range, which is not widely available for everyone. And I really prefer to make my videos as repeatable as possible. But this is not the case. And since so many people have asked, I decided to showcase it. So with all of that out of the way, let's get cracking. As you can see, we have our rocks here and I have already applied some sand texture. It doesn't matter which one it is. We're going to paint over this. You can use Citadel, you can use Vallejo, you can use AK, you can use even sand glued down. Anything will do. And for the first step, I'm going to base coat the rocks with Mechanical Standard Gray. You want a solid coat of Mechanical Standard Gray, so do as many layers as you want to get a smooth result. While that first layer of Mechanical Standard Grey dries, I'm going to base coat this sand using Vallejo Model Color US Dark Green. I'm showing you here a different method for painting the sand that is not like my usual way to do it, just so you have something different. But if you want to see, for example, how I did Giant Sour Vase, I will leave a link to that kind of sand painting on the top right corner. With all those base coats now dry, I'm going to start applying my dry brushing over the rocks and for this I'm going to use Celestra Grey. And for the sun itself I'm going to use Vallejo Highlight Russian Tanker Crew number 2. And they say GW has ridiculous names for paint. And I'm just going to do an over brush with this. I prefer over brushing over textured paints because it just gives me a lot more control. Also, this is why I didn't worry too much about Celestial Grey going over these sandy bits because we are going to cover it with this layer now. With all the dry brushes now applied, I'm going to shade this and I'm going to start with the rocks and for this I'm going to use Noon Oil. And for the sand itself, I'm going to use a mix of three parts Aurax Earthshade and one part Built and Green. The washes are now dry and what I will do now is reapply that same dry brush over the rocks. I will be lighter this time. I'm going to try to do the lightest dry brush I can. I'm just basically picking up the edges, try to not hit the earth, switching to a smaller brush to pick up just the edges on the lower sections of the rocks. And now I'm going to move into Othu and Gray for the next and last dry brush. I'm just going to apply this picking the edges, most extreme corners and stuff like that. And of course I'm going to apply my overbrass on the sand section using again, this is Highlight Russian Tanker Crew number two. Just rolls off your tongue, doesn't it? Again, going lighter this time, just re-highlighting, applying a bit more variation 
And now just for a bit of a extra touch, I'm going to take with full and gray. And then instead of doing a dry brush, I'm just going to pick up the corners, most prominent edges, etc. Just a regular highlight here. You can totally just do with the with the dry brushing, but for characters and stuff like that, I think just this extra touch uh, does a lot, helps. And now this is where all the magic happens, and I'm going to use an animal product. This is AK Interactive Moss Deposit, and I'm going to apply this over the rocks. Just randomly dotting this over the rocks, concentrating it towards in the crevices, but also random dots on the surface. You can apply random splotches also on the base itself. And once applied, I'm going to take my brush just slightly wet with mineral spirits. And I will just blend the edges of this carefully. You can also take this away from the places that you don't want it. For example, I got way too much here and with the thinner I will just remove it. And once done, it's just a matter of letting this fully dry before we can move into the next step. Our enamel weathering is almost dry, not 100% dry, but it's dry enough. And you can see what a beautiful effect it leaves. It really looks like moss and it's strikingly realistic and also super easy to do. And to finish off the base, I'm going to glue some tufts. I will be using Gamers Grass Tiny Tufts for this. To be precise, they are the dark moss and dry green tufts but it really doesn't matter. And I really, really like these tiny tufts. They are super good. They are much more in scale with 28 millimeter minis and they look super good. I'm not as affiliated with Gamers Grass in any way, but I want to be Gamers Grass. I love your products. Send me free stuff. <laughs> I like to use more than one color of tufts. Makes for a better looking base. With the tufts now glued, I'm going to shade them and highlight them. And for the first step, I'm just going to use Agarax Earthshade and I'm going to place this wash onto the bottom of each tuft. This is something that if you want a good looking tuft, you should do. Takes no time and no effort whatsoever and makes for a much, much better looking result. And now to highlight the tufts, I'm going to use, well, it doesn't really matter. You can use whatever light-ish color you want. You can probably even use our fine favorite Highlight Russian Tanker Crew number two, or you can use something like Creek Kaki, Screaming Skull, Palette Witch Flesh, Ushapti Bone, any bone color ivory. I'm going to use Creek Kaki just because I had it at hand. It was the first color that I picked. This is my loaded brush just like that and just going to glide it over the surface of the tuft it makes for such a good looking tuft it is it's like day and night these two steps together and again don't fixate on this color you can use whatever as long as it's lighter color than the tuft itself And with that last step done, our base is done. And this looks absolutely stunning. It's one of my favorite basing schemes. And I would like to thank again Ben Grace for giving me this absolutely amazing recipe. This is a cracker of a recipe. And I urge you to follow Ben. He's an amazing painter and you're not going to regret it. So guys, thank you very much for watching and I'll catch you in the next one. Bye. Do you like my videos and want to help me make them? Well, there are several ways you can do that. You can follow me on social media, have the links to all my social media in the description below. You can also check all my affiliate links in the pinned comment of this video. Use those links in your next hobby purchase and help me without any additional cost to you. I also have a link for the brushes that I use down there. Don't forget to check the merch that you can see just below this video in the shop tab of my channel. But most importantly, there is Patreon and members. You have the link to my Patreon in the description below in the pinned comment of the video. Or if you prefer, you can just click the join button below this video. Patreon and members help me do all the cool projects that I want to make and help me improve the quality of my videos. Don't be afraid, no content will ever be hidden behind a paywall, but it's a nice way to help me and you will get something back for generosity. That's it, guys. Thank you very much for watching. A special thank you to Heather Anster, Nicholas Furnell, Brian Bledsoe, LMAP Limited, Terrenosaur, Carlos Rivera, Chris Wolfenthal, Christoph Moret, Javi Mota, Kim Anderson, Michael Boye, Thomas Ustergaard, Tom Brand, Victor Domen, Dark Avok, Arundel, 
Charles Armintas, Chris Broga, Chris Fiby, Kiruno Murthair, Chris Talios, Dan Mako, Darcy Farah, David Sutherland, Dr. V, Gary Smith, Geoffrey Dell, G Force, Green Rollins, Jack Scotten, Jamie Milligan, Josh Simpson, JT Butler, Kevin Mian, Kevin Sulas, Donald Lindemar, Mark Baker, Mark Jarvis, Natius Maximus, Juan Brastrock, Better Oscar, Jonathan Thunberg, Royal Nilsson, Samuel, Sasha Park, and Tasted for being the coolest persons in the planet. Be like these fine folks on my Patreon and take control.